Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, extremely pleased to be at, back at home in West Yellowhead. We've had a long session and um, especially uh, pleased to be here in Hinton today and to have Premier Kenny with me. Uh, it's always uh, it's always uh, an exciting time for me to be able to show off the beauty of West Yellowhead and, and uh, Premier I know is taking it in in vast amounts today. Uh, forestry and tourism are huge economic drivers to our area and the Hinton Training Centre where we stand today supports both of these industries. Our region has a rich forest and industrial history. We now have a wide variety of industry including timber, oil and gas and coal. In Hinton, we are hardy, innovative pe people, and uh, we've always found a new way to diversify our economy and to grow our tourism industry alongside our neighboring provincial and national parks. We pride ourselves on creating opportunities and, and being a welcoming community with a strong and growing economy. So just want to acknowledge a, a few people here today. Uh, uh, Mayor, Mike, uh, Mayor Marcel Michaels, his worship, um, Rob Gallen, and... Uh, the director at the Hinton Training Center. Uh, with that, I would also like to uh, express my extreme pleasure in introducing the hardest, per hardest working person I have ever come to meet, uh, Premier Kenny, who I'm hoping has some good news for the Hinton Training Center today. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks Premier. Well, thanks very much, Martin, and happy work birthday, by the way. And thanks for your great work. Uh, sorry to be running a bit late. We were up meeting with the folks of the tourism industry in Jasper and uh, discussing with them how they're coping with the economic crisis that we are all facing. But uh, thanks for being here to, to people from the local community, um, especially to you, uh, to Martin. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor uh, Marcel Michaels. Uh, and uh, thanks to Director Rob Gallen as well for hosting us at the Hinton Training Center, one of the world's top wildfire management training facilities that produces some of the world's best forest firefighters and has been doing so for over six decades. So I'm touring uh, throughout Alberta this week as part of uh, our, uh, we just got out of the legislature, we're out of from under the dome and it's wonderful to be back uh, meeting with regular Albertans uh, talking about our efforts to recover uh, from the devastating impact of COVID-19. As mentioned, I started out this morning in uh, Jasper meeting with uh, tourism operators. Later this afternoon, I'll be visiting the Overlander uh, Mountain Lodge, the Big uh, Horn Coal Mine, Wellowhead, Yellowhead well Wood Products, excuse me, and Jade Oil Field Maintenance. It's great to get outside the political bubble, as I said, to visit uh, with folks who are working in jobs and industries like tourism, mining, and forestry and agriculture. 2020 has been a very tough year so far with the global pandemic and recession and especially tough for Alberta with the oil price crash on top of everything else. But in my travels around the province, I'm finding the can-do spirit of Alberta that is alive and well. In fact, a lot of folks are really impatient uh, for whatever it's going to take to get COVID under control so we can get back our lives back to normal and get our economy working and growing again. The Hinton Voice uh, recently reported that after 600 coronavirus tests, the town has only had three positive cases so far and Yellowhead County just two and that everyone has recovered. So I want to congratulate everyone in this area uh, for your care, for your personal responsibility, for your diligence. And your worship, please pass that on to the council and all of your local uh, community leaders. Obviously, not all parts of Alberta have been as fortunate as here or so effective in containing the virus. But overall, Albertans have managed the pandemic a lot better than most other uh, places around the world. Um, as I mentioned, our legislature just r rose last week after uh, a busy summer and spring session in which we passed uh, 34 important bills to address uh, our twin goals of uh, saving both lives and livelihoods. We sat twice as many days as the average of all the provincial legislatures in federal parliament and twa passed twice as many bills on average. We figured that uh, uh, we should be working just like Albertans getting the job done. The majority of those bills were either related to emergency measures to protect public health and provide income support and tax loan and utility relief for Albertans who lost their jobs and suffered financial hardship in the past five tough months. 
Um, or some of those bills were also about putting in place the short and long-term building blocks of Alberta's economic re uh, recovery plan. In the short term, that plan invests in projects that are designed to get Albertans working now, building public infrastructure that will support our economic growth and prosperity long into the future. And that's what brings me here uh, to, to today, as I am very pleased to announce that the government of Alberta is investing $8.25 million to refurbish and upgrade the Hinton Training Centre. The first phase of this over $8 million project, uh, which is expected to create about 50 local jobs this year and next, will uh, and will in turn provide indirect economic benefits for businesses in Hinton and other communities along the Yellowhead, is already underway with exterior work on the Mountain View and Valley View trainee residences. The other two phases involve upgrades to the interiors of the residences, which is being tendered this month and replacement of major parts of the physical plant of the center's main academic building to get underway this fall. It's been a good year for uh, wildfires in Alberta. As of July 30, there were just six burning in the province, five under control and one being held. Thank goodness for small mercies because we've had floods, hail, tornadoes, a pandemic, the worst economic contraction in 90 years, and so, uh, Maybe God decided enough was enough for Alberta, and at least we've been saved from, from more challenges on the wildfire front this year. But we know from hard experience over the last few years that wildfires are always a threat in our province. So the investments we're making today to the Hinton Training Center will undoubtedly pay off in the training of thousands of wildfire fighters for uh, years to come. Today's investment comes out of Alberta's Accelerated Capital Maintenance and Renewal Program, under which nearly a billion dollars is being invested immediately, uh, actually two, two billion this year, we brought forward a billion from uh, future years, to create tens of thousands of jobs uh, up uh, in building and upgrading schools, hospitals, roads, and other core Alberta infrastructure. In fact, another one of those projects is currently underway at the Hinton Courthouse, where a million dollars is being invested to replace its physical plant. Accelerating this capital maintenance and renewal program is a key pillar of Alberta's economic recovery plan, our bold, ambitious strategy to build, to diversify, and to create jobs in areas like tourism, technology, financial services, petrochemicals, agri and agri-foods, while creating tens of thousands of jobs right now. Overall, the plan makes infrastructure investments totaling about $10 billion, and it's the single largest government infrastructure investment in Alberta history, the largest per capita across Canada, and it is projected to create about 50,000 jobs that are so desperately needed right now. This includes projects like the $1.5 billion Keystone XL pipeline investment, to ensure that North America has secure, long-term access to energy from Alberta's oil sands, the world's largest single reserve of, of oil in a free market democracy and produced under the strictest environmental, social and governance standards in the world. The plan will also restore Alberta's uh, status as a magnet for investment from around the world with the lowest tax rate on job creators in Canada, one of the lowest in North America, and at the same time, while we're reducing red tape to encourage uh, businesses to invest again. I want to conclude by acknowledging that everything we're doing now to get Alberta through the pandemic and recession is powered uh, by the machinery of government and a lot of debt that we're going to have to pay back in the future. But it's all designed to enable the private sector uh, to resume its essential role as the generator of jobs, growth, and wealth, including the tax revenues that will be needed to dig us out of the fiscal hole in the, in the future. I have no doubt that we'll get there. We have the people, the resources, and the in indomitable Alberta spirit. Most importantly, we have Alberta's irrepressible entrepreneurial culture. Our history has shown over and over in the face of challenges as bad or worse than the ones we face today, that kind of resilience, that optimism, that competitiveness, and that culture of enterprise is simply who we are. So I'm very excited to see the work underway here 
at the Hinton Training Centre. I want to thank all of the staff for what you do to make Alberta a, a world leader in wildfire uh, fighting uh, and, uh, I'm, and also to help our fellow provinces across Canada when, when they're in need of help, as was the case with our firefighters that went down to Quebec this year. So, uh, Your Worship, we're happy to make this investment in, in this great community uh, to ensure that this institution thrives, uh, helps to keep Albertans safe while creating jobs right now. Congratulations and looking forward to working with you uh, and uh, Martin and everybody on getting the job done. Thank you very much. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Premier Kenny, uh, MLA Long, uh, the staff, uh, Hinton Training Center, and everyone here today uh, for joining us on what I didn't know is going to be a really good day. Eight million dollar investment in our community is important. But I did want to start off that the timing, I believe, is very important. In the past few weeks, Hinton has been questioned, whether it's from the federal government or, or and other organizations, uh, regarding our natural resources. Uh, and I'd like to thank Premier Kenny for his continuous fight to keep jobs in Alberta, here in Alberta. And I wanted to start with that because that is the fundamental way to continue and strengthen the values of families because you cannot have a family if you can't support a family. Now, I, there are many beautiful areas in the world. We all know that. But I challenge anyone that Alberta has many locations, and Hinton is one that has a beautiful landscape, that has parks and recreation, has tourism, all working hand in hand with pulp, lumber, uh, oil and gas, coal, forestry. And I'm happy to be here at the Hinton Training Center today because it plays a vital part. So Premier Kenny, MLA Long, the government of Alberta, we look forward to working with you on two fronts. One, as I mentioned earlier, it's about keeping the jobs that we have here in Alberta until there's a plan in place to replace those jobs here in Alberta. That is simply what we need for our province. But secondly, and it's the reason we're here today, is that investments in these less controversial sectors are extremely important. And we have a world-class facility here in Hinton and we thank the government, we thank Premier Kenny for his eight, over $8 million investment into this community. So we thank you for your visit. We look forward to a strong working relationship. This is a great start, but we have a bright future ahead with decisions like this. So thank you and enjoy the rest of your time here in beautiful Hinton. So, any media questions? Uh, how is that working? We're going to just have a scrum on the side. Okay. So, we're wrapped up here and we're going to do a demo down in the training center. We got all these mics and everything set up. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for your, uh, your patience I, and, and your, your being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kind words, Mayor. And looking forward to, uh, to see, getting around seeing the facility.